Hello and welcome to this Yield Up for Publishers overview video. In this video, we will explain how to use Triton Digital's Yield Up platform and show you a quick setup to get started on monetizing your audio inventory. Yield Up is short for Yield Optimization, and this is where publishers can expose their inventory for programmatic advertising to over 30 demand side partners, along with setting up floor prices and ad quality rules on what ads are allowed. Whether you're new to programmatic advertising or you have some experience working with other programmatic platforms before, you'll find that we've made Yield Up for publishers easy to understand and to set up. To access Yield Up, you'll need your credentials that are provided along with your Triton Digital activation during your onboarding process. If you have any questions or need any help, please reach out to our support desk on supportdesk at tritondigital.com. For this video, we will show you how to start monetizing your inventory through Yield Up in a matter of minutes. In our user guides, we have a quick start guide along with more advanced information if you require it. You can access that at any point from clicking the online user guide in the top right of Yield Up. From the configurations tab, we're going to show you five of the six steps shown here. These allow you to tweak your preferences and performance in the marketplace. But please note only the first two of these configuration steps are mandatory. The rest are optional. First, we'll go to ads.txt. The first step in order to run programmatic ads is to set up your ads.txt record. In the world of programmatic advertising, trust and identity are important, and the Interactive Advertising Bureau, or IAB, has an initiative to facilitate trust so that ad buyers and sellers can both feel confident. ADS.txt is, perhaps unsurprisingly, an acronym for Authorized Digital Sellers. This is basically your way of proving your ownership over your inventory and gives ad buyers confidence their ads are only running on shows that are knowingly opted into programmatic ads. YieldOp supports the ads.txt initiative and your record is created by YieldOp and available at any time from Publisher, Configuration, Ads.txt. You should create a text file of your Ads.txt record from YieldOp, which is unique to you as a publisher. This text file should be added to the root domain of your website. If you're familiar with web design or have a web developer you're working with, this will be an easy task. You can confirm this has been placed correctly by using the validator in YieldOp. If your station's website is incorrectly set up and does not pass validation, you can reach out to Triton Digital Support to update the website domain to the correct URL where your ads.txt is located. Should you have any questions about your ads.txt record, please don't hesitate to ask. Once you're done with ads.txt, we're ready to move on to activating DSPs. A DSP is a demand side platform, and this is where the ad buys and the ad creative comes from. To activate a DSP, go to Publisher, Configuration, Partner Activation, and select the DSP, and toggle Activation to On. A DSP can be deactivated in the same way, and this will prevent that DSP from buying your inventory. DSPs can engage in the open marketplace through real-time bidding allowing them to buy impressions based on what is available, depending on geography and other targeting criteria. This is the second of the two mandatory steps for marketplace configuration. If you'd like, you can carry on to packages to continue with a quick start. The following steps on the configuration page are optional if you wish to further customize your inventory in the marketplace. By default, all of your inventory is available to programmatic buyers through your enabled demand partners. However, you have the option to refine your programmatic inventory by creating rules that exclude specific inventory types. Inventory identified in these rules is not exposed to the programmatic marketplace or to direct deals. For more on this, please see the Yield Up user guide. By default, all of your inventory is programmatically available to buyers within the open marketplace for the DSPs you've enabled. However, you can use open marketplace inventory rules to place limits on that inventory. Please note that this rule is inclusive. Any inventory added here through a rule will automatically exclude what does not match the rule. 
please see the user guide for more information. By default, YieldOp enables built-in frequency capping that prevents the same advertiser domain or advertiser category from running two ads back-to-back -back in your content. We recommend you leave these settings on. This completes our overview of the configuration page. For more information, please view the online user guide. Packages are created by Ad Networks to pool publishers' inventory and make it available to any YieldOp connected DSP through deals. For your inventory to be included in packages, you can opt in to one or more. To opt in to a package means that you, the publisher, provide Triton Digital the instructions to allow the ad network that owns the package to make the inventory available for sale on your behalf. That you agree to the package's fixed or minimum price, you agree to have any of the publisher inventory that meets the criteria of the package be available for the ad network to include in deals, and that you will specify the market type, how you would like your inventory to be made available. These types are preferred, the buyers granted this status are presented first chance on your inventory. Only if they pass on it, the inventory is presented to buyers on the private auction. If no bids are presented here, the inventory moves on to the open auction buyers. They are the last ones to have a chance to bid on the inventory, and their bids will compete with all other buyers in the marketplace that are not using an ad network. We recommend that all packages are set to open auction, unless a business discussion has happened with the ad network who created the package. The SSP algorithm ultimately selects the winner based on the highest bid. To opt into a package, on the packages page, review the list of packages to find one or more that you would like to opt into. If you already know the name of the package title, use the search tool to find it. Make sure the package suits your inventory in terms of any geographic or format targeting. Slide the opt-in button to the right to open the opt-in settings panel. Select the market type where you want your inventory to compete through this package. Open auction, private auction, or preferred. Further customization of your opt-in to this package is now available. Click Submit to opt into the package. To opt out of a package, simply do the reverse. And there you have it. A few simple steps to get activated and start monetizing your digital audio inventory. Thank you for watching this quick start guide to Yield Up, Triton Digital's audio marketplace. If you'd like more information on this or any other product from Triton Digital, please reach out to your publisher development manager or client success manager. Have a great day.